G'day folks, just thought I'd give you all a little bit of an update on what's going on. I haven't put many videos up this holiday season, but we'll work on it. Just been a bit busy, that's all. And I got this thing home from Brad's, the uh, 4AC Toyota, 4 cylinder. I'm going to make a frame for that, so it's another time consuming project, but that's another good thing. Runs alright, and he told me why I couldn't get it idling the other day. It's just, there's a shut off emission anti run on thing and it's just drifted shut on the way home and that's it, it's dead or well, won't idle so you put 12 volts across it and the um, idle controller which is a thermoelectric controller and it should run again I mean it'll do everything apart from idle and I couldn't get it to idle even blowing out the jet and cleaning it all up nah but it's just that one little solenoid needle valve it's shutting off fuel to the idle control so that's right. Uh, fairly clean outside now. Got rid of a lot of crap. Um, yeah, just playing with a microwave at the moment. Doing something I don't recommend people do at home. I've already swapped the magnetron on this one out because it was pitiful. It's an old Samsung thing. It wouldn't even pop a wouldn't even pop a light bulb. That's how burnt out it is. It get very hot, make the light bulb glow, melt the filament wire, and that was about it. So that one's going in the bin. I swapped it out for a really big old Matsushita uh, magnetron. It's a 2M157-M2. So and and it's matching run cap and everything, all diodes and microwave oven capacitor. It's hot wired, so the fan and the uh, turntable keep running when I open the door, but the mag doesn't. And now I'm doing something which I don't advise anybody do unless you've got a bit of experience with microwaves and at least have some kind of microwave radiation meter. I'm going to bolt this magnetron on the side here. This is from a um, LG Intello wave. Pretty much identical to the one Brad's been torturing, except I stupidly uh, got it to the point where the plastic door surround melted. Like all inside here was just melted and that's what actually creates the seal. The LG doesn't have a metal plate against the cabinet. So all the plastic seal melted down and it started leaking radiation. So I pretty much ruined that one. But I'm going to bolt this extra magnetron on, put a fan and everything on it, and let's see if it can uh, increase the power of this old Chef microwave. Could be interesting. But I don't recommend people do it at home unless you've got some way of telling whether or not it's leaking radiation, a handheld meter. Even that little green thing that I've got will do the job. Yeah, more air conditioner scrap to go to the yard. That was that LG that, or well not LG, that Fujitsu that I pulled apart, or condemned. Bad terminal burnout. It's had moisture coming down inside the cabinet and running under the under the uh, terminal block cover. It had no gas in it. I'm guessing one of these uh, glass insulators cracked. I think I can see where it's starting to crack away. It didn't blow the terminal out, but it leaked. So that one's dead. The rest of them are dead. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I did get a proper jack for my car for once. Those stock BMW ones are dangerous. I'm not going to go into that though. <laughs> and more copper to get rid of. Oh yeah, these are the spare magnetrons. I'll try each one eventually. Better remember what cap goes with what. I've got a database thing on that I think. If not, trial and error. Nice collection of caps for them too. Yeah, that's a problem, I don't know which one's which. Which one goes with which mag. But, I don't know. Let's try one until you get a nice amount of out power output and if it doesn't blow the mag immediately, it's a good thing. It's all junk, it's all fun. Well the new mag managed to uh, do a bit of carnage. It's melted this light globe a bit. Didn't pop it. It cracked the glass around the base. And that glass cover thing is just a uh, conventional oven lamp cover. Burnt the end off this range hood lamp. I don't think it's popped yet. No, oh, well, we'll find out next time I fire it up. <laughs> that one's a bit dead though. I've just been ra raiding all the appliances and cars at the scrapyard, getting stop lamp bulbs, range hood and convent. Uh, convection oven backlights, refrigerator bulbs, 
And I've got a couple of R22, or sorry, R134A charged TX valves, just some new old stock shit. So, since they didn't cut the probes and things off them, they've still got pressure in them. And that'd be interesting sitting in a microwave. <laughs> I'll save that for a dedicated night. Maybe when Brad comes down next, we'll just have a big microwave blitz. And I'll keep an eye on the appliances at the yard. Just pull all, pull the bulbs out of them until I've got a nice big box full. I'll try and fill this box up and then tip it into the microwave and see what happens. Especially if I've got two or three magnetrons running on the one cavity. It could be quite entertaining. Might put a little deflector up there so that it direct, directs the microwaves downward. Another one on the other mag so it directs it downward. Uh, create a nice concentrated patch around here. Alright, the shroud's gone. Uh, it's sitting in the bottom of the cabinet at the moment. A couple of light globes on it. And both mags are plugged into a power board, so let's go for broke and just see what really happens. Uh, I should really have a microwave meter out for this, but the camera will tell me when I upload the video. <laughs> yeah, that's got some power now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's some really nice lingering plasma. Oh, that wasn't mucking around, it was just bubbling up around the door frame. <laughs> yeah, I don't need no damn reflector. Cool. Now to get the radiation meter out and see if this thing's really safe. Alright, let's try this uh, radiation meter thing. Just the handheld multi-purpose tester. Hang on. The air conditioner's taking a piss again. I really need to get around fixing that condensate drain. Damn it! Alright, the air conditioner is somewhat compliant now. Let's uh, just give this a quick test. Turn this outlet on. Yeah, it's telling me there's voltage there, so this thing's working. Now let's turn this beast on. Yeah, that screw hole. Got to fill that screw hole up. Getting a slight bit out here. And dangerous near the magnetron. Leads live. That's alright apart from really close to the magnetron. Metal steel around it probably isn't the best. <laughs> That's just throwing plasma. That's neutral. That's live. Yeah, I'm getting the same deal around this mag. A little bit of leakage, but not bad once I make a cover for it. It's not dangerous, like, if I could wave this thing around and get leakage, then I'd be in trouble. Why have you stopped? Ooh, hot. <laughs> Forgot about that, there's no fan on it. Yeah, it's just smoking. Oops! Well, at least I got another spare one of these. Actually, a whole box full. Yeah, that one got hot. Well, if in doubt, give it its own air conditioner. <laughs> I knew I'd find a use for this old thing. It's coming off nice and cool. Yeah, it'll work. Little speedy thing. Yeah. Move that around a bit. Stick that other bulb in there and... Ah, oh, what the hell, it sacrificed another one. I know it's better at night, but 
I can't help it. I'm having fun. Ah oh, well, that's what you get when you use 